right, it's time to learn how to how we can retopo this in Maya. I would really recommend going to the docs and um you can go to it right through here. Go to Maya help and just kind of read up on all the things you can do with Quadral. They add some updates sometimes. And there's some really cool things that you can do with it that makes retopology super super fast. And usually we kind of like reg kind of don't really want to go through this stage, but I really think Quadral makes it quite easy. So once you bring in your mesh, make sure you're in object mode. The way we're in 2015, by the way, make sure you're in 2015. Quadral works different between 2014 and 2015. I'm just going to be explaining the 2015 way. Select your mesh, come up here to the little magnet. We're going to make this a live surface. This is how you set your mesh for Quadral in 2015. It's different in 2014. So now we shouldn't be able to select it. Cool. So over here is where we're going to use Quadral in this section, but you'll see that it's not active up here, so you need to click it, and then all of a sudden it will pop up over here. There's a lot of other really cool tools over here. I'm just going to be going over Quadral. That's what I just use. Sometimes I use these other ones, and I might show you a little bit, but for the most part, I'm just going to use Quadral. So you select it, and then all of a sudden you'll see that you can start to draw dots on your model. So I'm going to undo that. And by the way, let me show you what happens when you don't have it clicked. So if you don't have it clicked, you can still use it, but it just snaps to the grid. That can be useful when you're just trying to maybe just create something quick, like a plane or something, and I don't know. So that's cool. Just wanted to show you that. So I'll just go back to this. Make sure you're in object mode. Press live. Come back to the quadro. So the idea is to just use points to retopologize, which I really think is cool. So I can come in here, lay off these points. I'm just clicking, clicking on the model. So I laid out these points, and to fill them, all you have to do is hold shift. And you'll see a little preview of where it wants to fill it in. So you can pick. So I'll just go shift. I'm holding it down. Click, click. Oops, I messed up. Because that'll happen sometimes, so you need to be careful in the way you place them. If you want to move it, just you, if you hover over it, you'll see it changes into a little translate. Just translate it over, and it'll be much easier to fill it. So that's how you fill. I'll do that one more time. Click, 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 click. You need four points. Actually, let's just make sure. Can you do? Nope. There's some instances where it will do a triangle, and I'll, I guess I'll do that right here. But it has to be closed. When your triangle is closed, it will fill triangles, but that's it. You can't do, you can't, Quadral doesn't work with anything but polygons, but it will fill triangles if it's in a, a closed, if it's a hole. So I'll just see back. Cool. So some other things you can do is you can middle mouse click to move things, move points, middle mouse click. So just hover over, you'll see a little circle, middle mouse click to move. You can extrude an edge by holding tab, and it'll say extend. So then I can start to just kind of place these how I need them. Middle mouse click, place it where I need. And then, for instance, I, I don't want to have to, how, what if I want to add an edge loop here? You can hold control. So control is for adding edge loops. That could be really useful, but I really recommend not doing it that way. Don't get too dense. I always will maybe just start off. Okay, I don't want to. Um, I'll show you an example here. So, for instance, I'll just move this over here, and then I'll come down to here. And you notice how we, when we hold tab, we can only extrude per edge. We can actually change it to loop. So now that's why I put that there. Now I can just use this. I'll go a little bit over more up. So I'll just go quickly. Um, this guy has a mask, by the way, if you're wondering why he doesn't have a face. So that's why I didn't do the face. He has a, a mask that hides it. So we don't need a lot of topology there. I'll just go really quick. And then I fix it up before I extrude a nice clean line. Also, Quadral works with soft selection. So you can hold B, pick how much you want and you can move by soft select. That's really useful. 
also, I'll give you a really good example. So let's say I'm going to extrude here. And we'll do that, we'll do that. And then I'm going to add a bunch of edges by holding control. Add some edges in there. I'm going to add a lot for instance for just one moment because I want to show you something cool that Quadraw can do in 2015. So once you have kind of like some topology laid out, don't worry about being so precise in how you place them because in Quadraw you, there's a relax conform tool. So what you can do is you can hold shift. You see how it says relax? You can start to relax some areas. It's kind of annoying when you're just doing relax on just one vert at a time. So what I do is you hold soft select, make it kind of soft, and you can relax with soft select. So this way, this makes retopology very quick. This is why this is better than any other system for um, retopology. Um, there's other ways to do it. You can use Topo Gun, you can use 3ds Max, and they have a, a similar feature. But ZBrush can't do this. That's why I would not do topology in ZBrush, because this makes it so much quicker. So I, I said I would show a couple things with um, these other ones. You can use Target Wheel to tar uh, to merge verts. It's kind of cool. You, you select a vert and it will show you where your next vert is with that little hover. And you can connect them when you let go. So that's great. Then there's multi-cut, which is like a cut tool, split polygon tool. So let me zoom in, in here. We can cut from here, 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 and do some custom topology. So I wanted to show you guys that too. Let's see if there's anything in here that might be useful. You can do by border. So let me show you a perfect instance for using that and why it's so great. So I'll do a quick little loop here by doing a square. So see how we're going to do the border in just a second. So let me create this loop first. I'll change it to edge. I'll start extruding a little loop around his elbow. And by the way, I retopologize this whole model with Quadraw. It does take a while. I will say retopology is the long. It takes for me when you're doing a whole body and you're trying to do custom topology. I really feel like sometimes it can take longer than maybe your original base sculpt. So it just takes a while sometimes. But Quadro really speeds it up. Extremely speeds it up. So I made a loop and see now how I can only do one edge. Let's just change this to border. And this is what I do with border. I'll just extrude it all the way down to like maybe the wrist and kind of place them. I'll place them perfectly because it will do that. So I'll, pay, I'll, I'll kind of play with them, kind of get them. And by the way, if your verts get too close to each other, they automatically merge. And that's why I don't use target wield because Quadra will automatically merge your verts if they get too close, which can be annoying sometimes, but it can be really useful if you know how to use it correctly. So if you if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm kind of placing these verts in a clean manner so that I can come back and add edge loops. You want to take advantage of that. You don't want to take your time extruding, extruding, extruding because you could just add edge loops. So I usually just pl place points if I'm trying to create a tube and then you can just come back, hold control, add your edge loops, oops, and then come back with hold B Turn on soft select, hold shift, relax. Okay, so it's really quick. That went by pretty quick, less than like two minutes, less than a minute. Um, that's why I use Quadral. I hope that was useful. I would really think about your edge flow when you're doing muscle structures and stuff like that. But I go pretty quickly with retopology. So if you're taking a long time, it's probably just your workflow. And I hope this Quadral kind of speed things up. Anyways, thanks for watching guys.